Hey gang, this is Mike with my Real Estate Dojo and today's lessons is about the zone and how can real estate investors get into a zone so they could get the deals when they go and give an offer to a seller. So let's dive in and get started gang. All right, so today's episode is about how can you as a real estate investor get into the zone so you can get the deal from the motivated seller and profit big. Um, in high school, in college, all through life I've been an athlete and one of the most important thing about being an athlete is getting into the zone. And if you don't know what that is, I'll go ahead and define that for you, is where you actually visualize yourself going through the movement or going through the moves and seeing the end result. For example, if you're a real estate investor and you're going to a motivated seller's home, what I used to do is, when I was new, is when I pull up in front of the seller's home, before I got out of my car, I would sit there and actually close my eyes and I would actually see myself going up to the door, knocking on the door, introducing myself, giving the person in my business card, going inside of the home, actually touring the area, see myself talk to the seller what I'm gonna say what he or she's gonna say to me etc I would even see myself all the way down to where I sit down and talk to the seller why give them the paperwork and actually where they actually signed the contract and were happy that was there for them so simply put I visualize myself going through the movement of the practice and getting my hands raised as the, as the winner of the fight, okay, or as of the match. It's so important that you guys do that because what that does is, as a newbie or even as a professional, but more importantly as a new per investor, is that it helps your brain stimulate the real activity without actually being there. So whenever you go and knock and talk to a seller, instead of being scared or nervous, your brain has already gone through this movement multiple times, okay? What I highly recommend is that you do that even before the seller's so home, like the night before, in bed, you know, th throughout the days. Uh, actually sit there and visualize, okay, hey, I'm gonna do cold calling, this is this is the way it's gonna go. The seller's gonna pick up, this is what I'm gonna say, this is what I'm gonna do next, this is how I'm gonna ask open questions so I can have a smooth, uh, transaction does that make sense so there's no hiccups and then once I get on the phone to do cold calling not that it was a lot easier but it helped my mind to and assure me that hey you've already been there just like when I used to wrestle you know every time I wrestle right before I went to the match the night before I always sit there in my bed or right before the meeting put my headphones on and just close my eyes and see myself going through the moves going through the struggles and going through the wins and then always seeing the referee raise my hand as the winner, okay? So when that whistle broke, blew with the referee to start, I already knew what moves I'm gonna do. I already knew how I was gonna do because I've already done it in my mind so many times. So guys, simply put, it works for athletes, Olympic athletes, high school athletes, college athletes, any kind of sport. But more importantly, it also works in business, it works in real estate. So make sure you capitalize on getting into the zone. And all it is is closing your eyes and visualize yourself going through the moves and, at the, and whatever you want at the end result to be. In this case, you want to have a signed contract. Hey gang, if you like these videos, please share, please comment, please like, and I'll talk to you later gang. Have a great day.